Hi guys, I'm back with another uh, custom journal. I just finished it and um, I wanted to document it and so that my customer can also see it. So this is another big one. It is all vintage uh, items in here. So the first thing um, that I did was use this vintage like upholstery fabric and the metal corners. I did the ridges on the book. I don't know if you guys can see that. She likes the, the ridges. Looks really pretty on the spine. And I used the vintage doily and a vintage image from a Henry Terry book. And a vintage book plate here. That's as the story begins. This is a vintage pin. And she can either leave it on the journal or um or use it it's pretty it's got like a pearl so let's get right in so let's see if i can fit this in the camera <laughs> all right i think we're good so here i have a acetate pocket because i did not want to cover the um this page this page came out of a, a wallpaper sample book so i just stitched some vintage lace acetate pocket and then i have this i backed it onto um some old papers or ledger papers you'll see throughout the journal and then i have a vintage postcard here actually this might be antique but anyway, that's what I have there. Here I have, you know, my note from the bookmaker and vintage lace there. And then I have this that I decided to put in there. It's, it's old. It's shabby. It's got that. I just thought it was really cute. So she has that. some Henry Terry. I have a snippet here. Let me make sure I'm in frame. I have a snippet here with old um, postage stamps, buttons, fabrics. I have a little envelope and I cut these out of a vintage magazine. It was a floral magazine and I just made tags with them so she can journal. Little uh, envelope here with some vintage lace. I'm not gonna keep saying vintage because everything in here is vintage. But I didn't include anything, but she can. Love this ledger paper. I made a little snippet here with different tickets and buttons and things. Love that image too. Some Sears, uh, Roebuck Sears catalog page. And I cut a Henry Terry, or was it Edith Holden? One of the two. And here I have one of these. She can use to decorate or just to look at. This is super old. This is antique from 1908. I just backed it onto some uh, vintage ledger. But look at the color on that. I love it. And I just put some lace on that. Love that. Lots of old little piece of... Oh, I'm so sad this is done. Um, wallpaper. Took a napkin and made a pocket. And then this is from Edith Holden. It's a poem. And I just added some vintage pieces there and backed it onto the cover of a vintage book. I have another one of these. It's so pretty. National Geographic uh, page. Here's a corner with some old stamps. Since it's a uh, recipe, added that beautiful lace. And then this is a calling card. I used it for a pocket and then I used that one. She can journal in the back if she wants to look at that. So pretty. And then here is another handkerchief 
and I just added some old paper in the back the journal and this is another piece of that really old uh, journal journal uh, or no what is it ledger music here's a little tally card and then another little um, Norman Rockwell playing card this is Braille that's my last sheet <laughs> so sad <laughs> another journaling card here and here I have a piece of vintage uh, this was so beautiful D send it to me thank you D and I'm on down to my last pieces another little old playing card and a calling card and then this opens for journaling vintage uh, from my old book house this is from the 30s vintage uh, gift wrap just did a little collage here with a stamp more vintage trim this is those uh, stamps green stamps that there postcard Montana Bozeman Montana and I made a wallpaper pocket here and then I have these old uh, what is it called precious moments and I like that there nice Here's another calling card I turn into a pocket, put an old playing card in there. And this is the middle of the signature. It's an envelope. And I just trimmed it with that. I took um, a hanky. No, it was a doily. Cut it in half. The other part is somewhere in the book. Old receipts. National Bank of Wyandotte. And a Yahtzee. She can journal on lots of vintage originals in here Watkins cookbook that was old too I think that was from the 30s or 40s love this we got this from my friend B here is a fabric flip love that uh, postcard Another postcard, so pretty. You can journal in the back. And here is another old receipt. Little snippet here with old vintage stamps. And then here's another card. Little postcard here with a journal here. Um, I think this is Edith Holden. Did a lot of stitching around the pages. I love the look. More braille. Here's a pocket out of an old hanky. It was a little tiny runner, actually, this was. And I just put some old receipts in there. Poetry. Got this from my friend Aaliyah. I'm not sure what it is, but it's old. I put it in that pocket. You can journal in the back. Here's a little flip you can journal in. And then I send, this is where I'm from, Cape May. Old playing card. Little piece of fabric there. More poetry. Here's out of the vintage magazine. Another flip. And here is some old. And this is a wallpaper uh, corner pocket. Okay, this is from 1908. Look at how brown it is. Love it. Little pocket here. Uh, 
little snippet down here just to decorate the page. I love that writing. Oh. Another snippet here. Then we go into the second signature. I have acetate because I love that image. I didn't want to cover it. So that goes in there. Vintage lace. Here's another um, of that ledger, old ledger, and it's a little envelope. Some old stamps. Little calling card with another calling card. Love that. Look at that owl. I love it. Another large postcard. And I took a um, flash card, added some old paper in the back. This is a wallpaper uh, double pocket. And this is some scripture. It's like um, one of those, oh, I forget what they're called. A little old playing card. This opens up. And then you have another scripture card and then a little tally. Love that image. Here's another little um, tally card. So cute. And an old postcard. Another one of these from National Geographic. Little flip, more braille. Another snip there. Another poem from Edith Holden. And this is a wallpaper corner. Little pocket there. Another snippet here. I love that. <laughs> Here's another pocket. And this is an Edith Holden. I love that image. Edith Holden. The poem in the back. Another ledger and more green stamps. It's a snippet that I turned into a little tuck, and I had this in my stash, and I included it. Bank of America. I guess it was a accounts thing. And this is an envelope. Here's the other piece of that napkin. And there is another receipt. And another card. opens up another pocket with some receipts and another one of those guys I love these images I've had them for so long in my stash finally had the heart to use them <laughs> there's a poetry another little flip here Here's the other side of the pocket. Receipt in there. This receipt to Ethel. Oh, 1913. It's 
snippet here. Another little flip up and flip down. And then here I just included some, um, they're like trivia, um, Bible trivia. I used the last of this vintage trim, little piece of fabric, more braille. And then here is an old, it's like a postcard. And then another from 1911 postcard. It's using Roebuck. Another little snippet. Use the um, calling card, and it's holding this old interior of Washington Memorial Chapel and then an old returned check from 1932 I had in my stash and here you can journal there there's a pocket here, and I included a vintage post, a vintage uh, playing card, and another Bible trivia, and another check from 1937 Bank of America. Another postcard back there. Another fabric flip. Old vintage stamps, 1927, 1957. And that is the back. I just have a little pocket here and more wallpaper. I use wallpaper for the front and back covers. So that is the journal. Big. All right, guys. Regina, I hope you like it. It was. A lot of fun. I don't think I can make another 100% vintage anymore because I don't have enough to make another one, but it's fun making this one too. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.